Welcome to a series of reflections by the St. Cuthbert Lane in Launceston Roman Catholic Church Scripture Study Group. Do join us if you'd like on Thursdays at 5pm when we hold a Zoom meeting. Thank you. The Lord is my pace setter, I shall not rush. He makes me stop for quiet intervals. He provides me with images of stillness which restore my serenity. He leads me in the way of efficiency through calmness of mind and his guide guidance is peace. Even though I have a great many things to accomplish each day, I will not fret, for his presence is here. His timelessness, his all importance will keep me in balance. He prepares refreshment and renewal in the midst of my activity by anointing my mind with his oil of tranquility. My cup of joyous energy overflows. Truly harmony and effectiveness shall be the fruits of my hours, for I shall walk in the pace of my Lord and dwell in his house forever. This is a prayer nominated by Monica Sobe from Bude. It's attributed to an American Confederate soldier and also to Henry Viscaldi. I asked God for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked for health that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of men. I was given weakness that I might feel the need of God. I got nothing that I asked for, but everything I hoped for. I am among, I am among all men most richly blessed. Here we have a short prayer nominated by an older King Vig of Launceston. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. But Jesus, who in this vision informed me of all that we need, answered by this word and said, It behoved that there should be sin, but all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of thing shall be well. Mother Julian of Norwich Our Father, who art in Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that. Let us pray. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy defend me, in the hour of my death call me, and bid me come to thee, that with the saints I may praise thee, for ever and ever. Amen.